I think growing up in Hawaii, it kind of breeds you into a, a person that learns how to build friendships and you get ahead by collecting friends. Hawaii is a very small place and everybody knows each other. Your reputation means everything. So I think um, Hawaii kind of has bred me into this person that, that uh, thrives on collaboration and thrives on uh, working together and also thrives on you know, the sharing of cultures. You know. I feel like the first time I experienced Loha was when I was invited to paint at Pow Wow. They welcomed us with open arms and everyone was super friendly, great hosts and it's just positive energy and no one was ever in a bad mood and I totally felt that from Kamea. He was always smiling and he was never, I, I felt like I was the one stressing out about everything and he kind of like brought me down to earth. Uh, Tati and I are collaborating on a mural right now that is kind of uh, a cultural exchange uh, that has to do with imagery from Hawaii and mixed with some imagery from the Caribbean and from South America. Kamea told me the story of the Hokalea, so overall theme for the wall was just the ocean and navigation. Um, so he decided to incorporate the ocean goddess and I decided to incorporate like the Brazilian ocean goddess because my background is Brazilian and also El Salvadorian. Tati definitely embodies the Aloha spirit. One of the biggest prerequisites for being a powwow artist and being part of the powwow family is being a, a person that's open and friendly and willing to share their culture and willing to also be open-minded and accept other culture and learn from different people. Well, obviously Aloha means hello, goodbye, and love, but my favorite part of Aloha is, is the love part. I think aloha means just caring for other people and, and showing respect. So when I travel around the world, I try to be the, the best ambassador of aloha that I can be and hopefully it inspires people to pay it forward.